Guys, I was not ready for this, but here's an absolutely mind-blowing AI video generator that just dropped and the quality is just out of this world. The best part is you can use it completely free right now and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Plus, we'll also compare it to some of the other big players in the AI video generation scene so you can see for yourself why this is such a game changer. All right, so this incredible video generator is called Minimax and it's created by a company called Hiluo. I'll drop a link in the description below. And like I mentioned, guys, it's totally free to use right now. You can create 720p videos that are six seconds long, but I've seen some examples online pushing this to 1080p. Now, without wasting any more time, let me walk you through how to get started and show you why this is blowing everything else out of the water. All right, so let's dive right in and get you set up with Minimax. It's super easy and you'll be generating amazing videos in no time. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to their website. I'll have the link right below this video. Once you're there, look for this button and click it. Now here's where it gets just a bit confusing. So you need to create an account, but don't worry, it's not limited to just China or anything like that. When you're signing up, you'll see a drop-down menu for selecting your country. Now, if you're in the US, it might not be where you expect. It's actually under M for some reason, probably the Chinese way of listing it. Anyway, pick your country, enter your phone number, and they'll send you a verification code via SMS. Once you've got that code, just punch it in, agree to the terms, and hit sign up. Boom, you're in. Now you're ready to start creating some mind-blowing videos. All right, let's click that same button again, and it'll take you straight to the video generator page. Now here's the deal right now. Minimax is text to video only, so you can't do stuff like image to video just yet. But trust me, the results you can get from just a text prompt are absolutely insane and you're gonna be blown away. And all right, so before we jump into comparing this with Sora, Runway, or Kling, let's just enter a few basic prompts and see what exactly we can expect from this model. Let's try creating a brunette mermaid swimming in water, nothing too fancy. Guys, my mind is absolutely blown right now. This is insane, guys. I'd say it at least matches, if not surpasses, Sora level quality. Her face is perfect, no morphing around the eyes or her hair. In fact, I'd say these are the closest eyes we've gotten to real human eyes from a video generation model. Absolutely insane. The water around her, of course, is nearly perfectly rendered. Plus, you can see how the lower part of her hair is more wet than her head. Really, really impressive. Honestly, going into this blindly at first, I had no idea this AI was capable of making such lifelike footage since this is still a relatively new model. Anyway, let's move on to another example. The previous one seriously set the bar high, but let's see how this AI competes in making landscape footage. And take a look at this, guys. I'm seriously very, very impressed right now. Let's quickly break this video down. Okay, so we start with this peaceful valley, right? And the way the camera moves, it's so smooth and cinematic. Anyway, the details here are ridiculous, guys. The texture of the rocks, the way the light hits them, Everything is perfectly rendered. Now watch how the magma erupts, the way it bubbles and flows, the heat distortion in the air. I've never seen AI get this so right before. It's like watching a Hollywood movie, but guys, this is all AI generated. The way the smoke billows out, the sheer scale of it, I'm speechless. This kind of physics simulation in real time takes some really beefy computational power, and this AI is just casually nailing it. Let's try another prompt. This time I want to try something simple that a lot of AI generators struggle with. The prompt that I'll use is, a man packing his bags in the 19th century. I know it might seem pretty straightforward at first, but trust me, I've seen AIs mess this up so badly. For some reason, these small, intricate human actions can't be simulated accurately. Anyway, here's what we got out of Minimax, and tell me if you're not seriously impressed, guys. Okay, so we've got this guy packing his bags in what's clearly a 19th century setting, and holy cow, the authenticity is off the charts. First off, look at his outfit, that navy coat with the brass buttons, the high collar, and that patterned waistcoat underneath. It's not just some generic costume, it's actually spot on period accurate. Now, let's talk about this room. Are you seeing this? The grandfather clock in the background. The ornate gold-framed landscape painting those fancy chairs with the cane backs, everything is just perfect. But here's where it gets really crazy. Look at that suitcase he's packing, the rich brown leather, the brass clasps, 
It's exactly what you'd expect from that era. And the way he's interacting with it, folding clothes into it, the AI has perfectly captured the motion and posture of someone actually packing. It's not 100% accurate, but it's very, very close to it, guys. The lighting in this scene is just ridiculous. The way the sunlight's streaming in from that window, casting natural shadows across the room, and highlighting the textures of everything, from the wood grain on the furniture to the fabric of his clothes. It's really like watching a Hollywood movie, guys. Now let's compare this new Sora competitor to Sora itself. Unfortunately, we have really limited demos of Sora, and even those we aren't exactly sure if OpenAI didn't mess with them in post-production. So yeah, take this comparison with a grain of salt. Anyway, let's bring that woman walking through the streets of Tokyo Demo. It was one of the first videos that OpenAI showcased for Sora. It's pretty neat. So let's see what our new AI tool can come up with. And check this out, guys. Absolutely amazing. Now, it did use a slightly more, I'd say, post-processed and filtered look with vibrant colors, while the Sora video was more towards photorealism. But despite that, the video looks incredibly realistic, guys. Just look at how the woman's dress is flowing as she walks. Also, check out the subtle reflections on the wet ground. It's not just about making a pretty picture. These AIs understand how light, motion, and materials work in the real world. Now, I don't really speak Japanese, so I'm not exactly sure which model got the text right on the billboards, but I'm willing to bet that Minimax wouldn't be that far behind Sora when it comes to text. Let's now try comparing Minimax to Runway's Gen 3 Alpha, which is another highly capable video generation model. Now, do note that Runway's model is not free. You've got to purchase a subscription to access it. So that already makes Minimax a really attractive choice, but let's see how it compares to Runway just based purely on how it performs. So we have this demo video of an astronaut running through an alleyway. Let's try to recreate this same scene in Minimax. All right, guys, this might have just officially surpassed Runway. The differences here are absolutely mind-blowing. First up, we've got Minimax, and holy cow, they've absolutely nailed it. Look at that scene an astronaut running through a graffiti-covered alley with Christ the Redeemer in the background. The level of detail is insane. The textures on that cobblestone street, the way the light hits the astronaut's suit, and those graffiti designs, they're so sharp and vivid. Now flip over to the Runway Gen 3 Alpha. It's good, don't get me wrong, but Minimax is edging it out here. Let me tell you why. The Runway image is a bit softer, a little less defined, but here's where Minimax really shines in this example, the composition and creativity. That Christ statue in the background is absolutely genius, guys. It adds this whole extra layer of surrealism and context that the runway image just doesn't have. And let's talk about lighting for a second. The Minimax image has this amazing contrast between the bright sky and the shadowy alley. It's creating depth and atmosphere that's just next level. The runway image is well lit, but it doesn't have quite the same punch. Now don't get me wrong, both of these are incredible. The fact that we can generate images this complex from a text prompt is insane, but in this particular face-off, Minimax is bringing that extra wow factor. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. Now I did create this same scene in Hotshot AI as well, which is another free AI video generator that you can access right now. Looking at this now, I'd say Minimax is far, far ahead in terms of realism when you compare it to Hotshot. There's all sorts of morphing going on, and the camera angle is just weird in the Hotshot video. I actually made a whole video on this AI. The link is in the description. Go check it out if you're interested in what Hotshot is really capable of. All right, guys, let's wrap this up because holy cow, what we've just seen is absolutely insane. Minimax is a total game changer, guys, and I'm not even kidding. We've put it up against the big dogs, Sora, Runway, Hotshot, and it's not just keeping up, it's leaving them in the dust in some areas. The crazy details, the wild creativity, the mind-blowing realism, it's all there, and then some. But the thing that's blowing my mind is that it's totally free right now. You're getting this insane blockbuster-level videos without paying a cent. Now look, I know tech moves crazy fast. Today it's Minimax, tomorrow who knows. But right now, this second, this is the cutting edge. And you can jump in and start making insane videos right away. So guys, seriously, go check out Minimax. The link's down in the description. Sign up 
and prepare to have your mind blown by what you can make. Trust me, you're gonna love it. And that's all for this video, folks. If you've stuck around this long, I really appreciate that. If you like the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If, on the other hand, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve on my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.